Hey friends, it's Lisa A with an E. Thank you again for watching a video coming back to my channel. Um, today I decided to make a video which I might make like as, an, as a series. It's just something that I thought of during the week. Um, it's going to be silly and stupid, but I thought other people might enjoy it. I am a collector of the Starbucks You Are Here mugs. And if you've gone into Starbucks in the last few years, I'm sure you've seen them. Usually, depending on where you're located, there will be a mug, um, a coffee mug, and it will be for that regional area. Or if you go to the New Jersey Turnpike, it's like New York, Philadelphia, Niagara Falls, Washington, D.C. Okay, all right. Um, but basically, they're another way for Starbucks to get your money. Um, but for someone like me, that's all about like going to places and traveling, and then I love like maps and collecting things. I like to buy these mugs now that I know about them or get them as gifts from people that bring me back souvenirs. Um, so I decided that in a way to share my little collection with you, I would be making short series of videos where I take either one or two mugs at a time and I basically look at them and I describe what I know about the place based on the mug. Some of the places I have been to and I bought the mugs myself and then other places like I said before people have gifted me these mugs because they're so generous and awesome and they know that that's all I need to be happy in life is another coffee mug. Alright so I hope you like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and now stay tuned to my first two mugs. Alright so I decided that I would start it with the mug that started it off for me and this would be this Philadelphia mug from their older style. Um, this is not the style of mugs that they sell anymore, but come back to me, camera. This was the first one, and I actually bought this, funny enough, in Wilmington, Delaware, because I used to work in Wilmington, and that was when I really started to go to Starbucks. Before that, I hadn't really gone there, and I saw this mug on the shelf, and uh, I bought it. And so, what do I know about Philadelphia? Okay, so I am originally from Pennsylvania. I am I grew up maybe 10 minutes from the South Philly area. Um, I am a fan of their sports teams, and I know that it is the city of brotherly love. Philadelphia has a tough, uh, like, East Coast, West Coast rivalry. I can never say that word. Please don't think I'm stupid, but rivalry with Pittsburgh, um, but Philadelphia. It is where the founders of our beautiful country came together in this building, which is Independence Hall, to write the Declaration of Independence. Um, it's also where Nicolas Cage, you know, went up here and found something for a national treasure, which is almost as important as the Declaration, you guys, for reals. Um, but Philadelphia is a beautiful city that is big on historical tourism. Um, it also has extremely <laughs> pricey sales tax, um, but it's definitely worth going. Um, as you can tell, I didn't really like think about this series before I did it. But anyway, this mug is pretty plain. It has the Philadelphia image of the Independence Hall. And then on the back is the skyline as it was... Um, this is probably like circa 2012 I bought this mug. Philadelphia has been going through an amazing building boom in terms of business. There are new skyscrapers going up all the time, which m myself as an architectural buff, I'm super, super nerd, like nerding out about. Um, but this was the prior skyline and this was is the Comcast Center, because Comcast basically owns Philadelphia. Um, back behind here was Liberty Place, which was originally the tallest building in Philadelphia that was built in 1980-something. And really interesting to note is that Philadelphia used to win sports things, like championships, before the Phillies did in, what was it, like 2008? Um, but basically, on Indi uh, City Hall, there was a, um, City Hall, I'm sorry, has a statue of William Penn, who founded Pennsylvania. And 
when this building right here, Liberty Place, was built, it was taller than City Hall, which broke what was called the Gentleman's Agreement, where it was like an unspoken rule that no building could be taller than uh, William Penn. And so basically, from like 1987 to, you know, 2008, Philadelphia did not win crap when it came to sports. Um, but then when they built this building in the late 2000s, early like 2000 and teens, what is this decade that we're in? Um, they put a miniature statue of Billy Penn on the top. So now it's like Billy Penn still actually is taller than all the other skyscrapers. Um, and just random important to know, I don't know if you can tell, there's these two buildings right here that look exactly the same. They're called Commerce Square 1 and 2, and I used to work there when I graduated high, uh, excuse me, when I graduated college, I got a job at a mutual fund in the city, and I thought I was hot stuff, um, and it's still to this day my favorite job. Uh, but that's it. That is my Philadelphia mug, and I probably talked about this mug way too long than I needed to. The second mug I have for you today is my Toronto mug, and you may be wondering what happened here. Um, a couple weeks ago, I accidentally broke this mug because I was stupid, and luckily only the handle broke off. Um, so technically, I guess I could still use this, like you would see it like in a Japanese restaurant. But um, I really love Toronto. I went there in July of 2016. It was one of my bucket list cities. I've always loved Toronto. My second favorite baseball team after the Philadelphia Phillies is the Toronto Blue Jays, strangely enough. Um, but Toronto, of course, is in Canada, if you didn't know. And this is definitely straight up Canadian. I mean, look at that maple leaf. But basically, Toronto is this huge, beautiful, multicultural city, way better than New York. Um, very clean, the people are friendly. And the thing they're really proud about is this building right here, which is the CN Tower. Or if you're my dad and we're on vacation, he keeps calling it the CNN Tower. And I don't think you're supposed to do that. Um, but up top is a awesome circular like building place where there's restaurants and observation towers. And we went ahead and we did the lunch where the restaurant at the top, think of this like dark blue line, it rotates 360 degrees. So basically, in an hour, you see the entire skyline of Toronto. And on a clear day, you can even see across to New York State. They're super big into hockey. If you did not know that, you should. Um, but this is probably standing for the Toronto Blue... Blue Leafs? No, I'm sorry. Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, let's see. There's the broken handle... What else do we know? I think this building right here, this is probably oh, where the Toronto Blue Jays, excuse me, where the Toronto Maple Leafs play. And then back here is, oh, I forget the name of it, but it's this awesome sports place um, where I saw the Blue Jays play, which was another bucket list item. Um, oh my gosh. But it was, I think it was like the first place that ever had a retractable dome. So basically, the arena, you can play sports all year round because the dome either opens up or the dome closes. And when I went to go watch the Blue Jays, the dome was open and it was really cool. And then the last thing that I know based on this mug is this, I believe, is called the Old Parliament Building. And it's beautiful and uh, I didn't go in it, but I walked around it and passed it multiple times. Uh, they do have tours there, but basically, uh, I don't know what it would be equivalent to in the United States, but it was pretty cool. Um, and if, in case you're wondering, I am currently on eBay looking for another one of these mugs, but hopefully I won't have to pay an arm and a leg, because I would like one with a handle. But that is what about, that's what I know about Toronto. So those are the first two mugs in this really random video series. Uh... Sorry if any of it was non-factual. You should not rely on me for any facts about any place ever. That's a disclaimer. But if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and I will see you guys in a future video. Please stay well. Bye. Oh, boy.